Fucking money, bitch, I'll blow your back doors in. Then I'll sink your face and your money and your tap packs and everything else, and I'll fucking rub your little man. <laughs> Give me the money. Welcome to the heist on PC. This is a budget title which comes in at £13.50 currently on Steam. And if you like a mix between COD, Chaos, shitty graphics, I'm joking, I'm joking, they're not that bad, but we'll get to that in a little bit. This is a download title, something different. If you've ever wanted to take part in a bank robbery, a team and a co-op, then this could be the game for you. Okay, I got the key card. Down Let's, okay, get the key the card. Let's get the drill in the This is actually my first playthrough of the first level and we're currently playing on easy. I'm playing with uh, three people who I don't know. One of them's obviously a smack tad foreigner who's got his speakers way too loud, so. I apologise if there is some sort of echo in this game at the minute. Initially when the game boots up, the graphics are not as bad as I was... Well, as, as I've read. Yeah, little message from up there. Turn <laughs> your fucking speakers down, Dad. Turn them down, turn them down, you French onion munching, berry wearing, fine acting motherfucker. Turn them down. The controls feel a little bit like COD. The graphics, I mean, I'm, as many of you know, I'm not a COD fan, but the graphics look very similar to COD. Quite basic. You you, you start off in the game with just, I think it's uh, an M16 and the pistol. The progression in the game is actually quite deep. There's lots of unlocks for, you know, weapons, shotguns, uh, ability to bring, I think it's health packs, more ammo. There is no tutorial in this game, I think it's a matter of just getting in and actually trying it and see to see where you end up really, I mean the, the objectives do come up at the top left, it can be a little confusing, I presume on harder I'm told that there are, there are more options to do throughout the game, so one of you will have to you know, secure the, uh, th this part here, the other two will have to sort out a drill for the saves and things like, saves and things like that, but uh, it, I think it's definitely got potential. But uh, let's just have a look at some of the gameplay and I'll comment as, as we go through. Actually playing this game with three of your friends would, would make the game a, a lot more enjoyable. Uh, my current task here is to, uh, is to wipe the, is it the video camera footage? You just stand there and press the F key. Uh, yeah, co-op will make this a lot easier because uh, as I've said before you could get two of you, hello? Hello. You could get a couple of you protecting the safe while the drill's working downstairs. The other two could be doing this. So t teamwork, I think, will really make the game a lot more enjoyable. It's easy, medium, and hard. And hard. There are more objectives that you have to do to complete the level. Follow me, bitch. The shooter mechanics. Uh, it's quite satisfying. There's just something that doesn't quite feel right about it. I mean, it's not COD, it's not Battlefield, obviously. Um, there just seems to be something not quite really satisfying about shooting. And I think the only way for you to really get a feel for that is it's just to get in game and just try it. Something just doesn't que feel. Quim. Quim in the man, boys. Quim in the man. Pussy uh, It just doesn't. F I don't know. Shut the fuck up and just watch it, you fucking idiot bumbling on like a fucking retard. <laughs> they're either gonna buy it or they're not gonna buy it, alright? Just let them have a look at the footage, knobhead. There are six levels in the game. Uh, different missions such as Diamond Heist, uh, Bank Robbery, uh, Bank Robbery, Schnobbery and Brobbery. I don't really know, but we'll, I shall show you the menu in case you're interested. There are, as the game progresses at the minute, SWAT will arrive, you get like a, a big guy in a big uh, dustbin lid, he's, he's one hard motherfucker. You get guys taking him over the taser as you'll see a bit later on. Uh, current mission here is to, is to uh, got to wait for the, the drills to finish the main bank vault downstairs, but I'm up here trying to stop these pigs coming in. Who doesn't love the smell of bacon in the morning? <laughs> Unless you're a vegetarian like me, that is, then I would like a vegetarian sausage. A sausage of sage and sauce. Yes, Linda McCarthy sausage. The 
the enemies, or should I say the enemies, the pigs, uh, do seem to just pop out of nowhere sometimes. I mean, it did say at the beginning when we were doing the vault that they were bringing a bulldozer in, so I I've not seen this bulldozer. I don't know where this bulldozer comes from. Probably the outback shovel and shit or something, because it's certainly nothing to do with this mission, boy. I think that's a farming sim, not the bank sim, or the heist sim. Schmeist. Schmeist, Budweiser. Yeah. Oh. Friendly fire seems to be on. As you can see, my health's at the bottom left there, and my teammates. And they're, well, they're, they're, they're sucking cop sausage quite badly by the looks of it, whereas I'm half green, you know, being a vegetarian, eating sausages. I'm doing alright. I am doing alright. Audio seems to be quite. Well, I, I don't really want to use the word mediocre because. It, it is what it is, and we have to remember that this is not a full-blown title, this is a $20, £13, 50 whatever it is on Steam release, so it's not going to have the same values, polish and spit, as other games that we've been playing recently, especially since we've all been spoilt with Battlefield 3 Beta to come to this feels like, oh, we've gone back into the 80s, <laughs> but it is a download title, and then that's what you have to remember, and if you want something that's fun, easy to play, ish, licorice, sort of, then you probably will enjoy this title. We're actually waiting for the drill on the left that you saw a second ago to actually cut through the vault, and there we go, we're through, we're through, we're through. Somebody's farted by the looks of it. So now we're actually through to a different section, and this is where the game... The, uh, what am I trying to say? Come on, retard, what are you trying to say to us? What you want to say to us in this video? I'm trying to say to you, it is like Left 4 Dead, uh, in that there is a an objective director of Schmecta. I don't know what it's called, but all I know is, is that certain objectives will be in different places. For example, the laptop to erase the video camera footage. That'll be in a different position, as you can see there. Look at that amazing graphics on the fire. Battlefield 3 could learn a lot from this game, baby. A lot. So now we've burned, we've put the thermite on the Schmermite. We're burning in the carpet with the shit stains on it, and now we've got to hold the fort while the carpet burns and we fall through the floor into the money bags below. So, as you can see, tension's building up, music's building up. Let's just enjoy some of this utter carnage before I continue with this world-class IGN beating, lame spot beating, motherfucking commentary, you utter pie-munching, meat-eating motherfuckers. <clears throat> Let's take a breath. Enjoy. So how can we sum this game up? Well, let's put it this way. If you're waiting now for Modern Warfare 3 and you want to do a shit on it because it's a big pile of dump, should we start again? Come on, everybody knows you don't like COD. You don't need to keep reminding them what it's full of kids with races from America who talk smack about bitches and gays and, you know, they haven't even got any pubes on their bollocks. So let's start again, shall we? Start again. <clears throat> So, if you're looking for a game to tide you over until Modern Shitware 3 comes out, or Battlefield 3, this could be a bit of fun. Let's face it, Battlefield 3's not really got a lot of competition with this game, has it? Let's be honest. But if you're looking for a quick fix, something that's fun with your friends on co-op, you like shooting pigs, and you like vegetarian sausages, uh, then this game is for you. It's highly recommended for the budget price that it is, just don't be expecting too much. Go in and have fun. And leave a comment below and let me know how you get on with the game. Yorkshire Pudding gives this. Hmm. I'm going to give the game a 7 out of 10 puddings. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and leave your comments below, or I shall see you online. Drop the fucking money bitch, I'll blow your fucking brains out. <laughs>
Get off! 